Yes, the hurricane is here. Yes, we've known about it. Yes, we've prepared for it, but hurricanes are still very unpredictable. Sunday morning everyone. Janice and I have our hurricane attire on which is basically just comfy PJs. Janice is lounging. The dogs are playing. Let me show you all the weather. It's basically just windy and rainy on and off. We're not really going to feel the effects of Hurricane Irma until tonight and Monday morning and by Monday evening it'll be up in North Florida past us. Paul has an update. The evil eye. <laughs> the eye of the hurricane is not in Miami. It's in Key West, like in the Keys down there. And uh, the band, the outer bands are what's hitting Miami. Now the thing is, is just because the eye isn't hitting it, they're still getting over 100 miles an hour in winds and gusts. And, and power flooding. outages. And yeah, like I think more than half of Miami is already out of power. Yeah. And it's going to continue to go up. So. We're just hanging in there. Yep, dogs are playing though. They're having fun. Yep. They don't care. They do not sense any impending doom at all. <laughs> They're totally fine. <laughs> like I mentioned yesterday, the power companies are expecting half of Florida to be without power for a number of days. And the storm is going to affect all of Florida. I'm sure y'all have read that in headlines and in the news, but that doesn't mean there's going to be substantial damage in all of Florida. Some places are just going to be affected like what we're seeing outside our window right now. And currently the hurricane is a category four. And as it makes its way up the coast towards Tampa Bay, where my home is, it's going to go to a category three. And I'm so thankful it's getting weaker, but that does not mean there won't be any damage. There's going to be flooding, power lines down, wind damage still. So we just have to wait and see what is left after the hurricane and start to work from there, but I am thankful it's getting weaker. So we're still just relaxing. Janice and I are laying in bed. She's in her cocoon of blankets because it's really cold in here. Paul's freezing. Yeah, Paul's freezing us out. <laughs> and we've just been watching movies. Kind of, I guess, what we do during the hurricane because you can't go out and do anything. We got the dogs. A lot of y'all asked how Harlow's gonna use the bathroom. Let me show you all the weather right now. It's 2 p.m. and the weather is still like this. We could perfectly safely take our dogs to use the bathroom with the weather like this because the hurricane is still further south. It's not really drastically affecting us yet. We are feeling effects of the hurricane, hence how the weather is now, but it's only going to be really impacting us tonight and tomorrow morning. So probably by tomorrow afternoon, it'd be safe enough to take the dogs out for a quick potty break. And they're really good at going potty on command. We say go potty, they know it's time to go potty. And if it isn't safe to take them out and they really need to go, although they are great at holding it when we need them to, such as if we take them on a flight, they kind of need to hold it longer than we'd usually ask them to, they have training for that. But if they need to go and it's not safe to take them out, like I said, they have a good potty command, so we'd probably just stick them in the shower and have them pee in there and then rinse it out, which isn't ideal, but sometimes you gotta do stuff like that during a hurricane. And the pooches are still unfazed by the weather. Like I said yesterday, I don't think they have any instincts related to the hurricane coming in, and they've been through fireworks and really loud Florida thunderstorms, and it doesn't phase them one bit. Because as service dogs, they have to be able to work and function well and all types of distractions, including loud, thunderous areas. Like if there's a thunderstorm going on, Harlow can't be anxious in it because then she wouldn't be able to help me well or alert to my fainting spells well and things like that. It could alter her ability to work. So we make sure they're well prepared and can tolerate various situations and sounds and environments. And that's a lot of the work that goes into their training. Yuri, wanna go under the blanket? This is yes. what? Please. This is what she likes to do. If it's a must, it's a demand of hers. She likes to just lay under the blankets, but she's a good heater and a snuggle bug. We migrated downstairs and now we are watching movies with Paul. We're watching Looper, which is one of my favorite action movies I can actually keep up with. Anyways, some updates. Here in Orlando, 
still not much is happening. It's really gonna pick up and we're gonna feel the stronger effects of the hurricane towards tonight and early morning tomorrow. As for Tampa Bay in my home, there's some new updates that I found here. We're expecting wind gusts up to 100 miles an hour. There is a tornado threat in effect. Six to 10 foot storm surges, which is what really worries me with flooding since we're right on the water on an inlet. We just really gotta wait and see what we come home to. There's just no knowing and that is nerve wracking, but at least I can take solace in the fact that we evacuated and we're safe. And I have heard from Judd and he is safe too, still doing good things, so. Hurricanes, y'all. They cause a lot of stress, but we can work through this. Well, things are picking up a bit outside. Still nothing too terrible. Right now, the storm is in Naples, heading up towards Tampa Bay. And it's a category three right now, right, Paul? It is, hold on, sorry, it's loading. It's category two at 110 miles an hour. Okay. And by the time it reaches Tampa, it'll only be a category one at oh, 85 wow. miles an hour. So that's awesome. So the storm has gotten even weaker, which is amazing. Like I said, with each update, we got new info. Janice says we're jinxing herself though. I mean, it could change, but. Cause we're saying it's going up and down, up and down. We That's true, we have speaking. said. Then it was the East Coast, on the West Coast, and all over the place, so. Oh, the speed, it was supposed to be at like one o'clock here, it was supposed to be like 40 to 50 miles an hour, and right we're now not it's, seeing that. it's still only like 20 miles an hour outside, and they say by seven. 20 mile per hour winds. Yeah, and right and it's now. it's already 5 p.m., so. So the prognostic is looking good. It yeah, is, that makes me happy. And then watch it, come, watch it come to seven and there's like a hurricane out there. There well, is gonna there. be a hurricane out there. there. Te Jinx! Babe, Jinx! babe, technically there is a hurricane. Yeah, technically there is a hurricane, but. You guys are making it worse right now. No, I'm gonna take it, this is good news. I mean, there's still gonna be damage and like, in Miami-Dade County, more than 800,000 people are without power right now. In my county, it's more than 7,000 people without power and the hurricane isn't even there yet. So, I mean, there's still gonna be damage. Hurricanes are hurricanes, you know, they're not just thunderstorms, so. But I'm glad it's getting weaker, you know, focus on the positives. Now it's starting to blow a lot harder. We can hear the wind inside and the trees are blowing. Still nothing too terrible yet. We gotta wait till later. Probably like while we're asleep is when it'll really be hitting us, right? Midnight is when it's gonna be the strongest. Oh, okay. So midnight to 2 a.m. is gonna be here, 60 That's to Jackie, miles Jackie sleeping time. Yep, all of us. So we're just gonna hopefully just sleep this out and uh, wake up the next morning. Hopefully we still have power, but they did say there's gonna be power outages, but um, we'll see. That's why you have the AC so low though. So yep. if it goes out, we're still cold. At least tomorrow the house will stay cool enough because... And it's only a high of 75, so it won't be too hot anyway. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you can't really tell from the camera, but things are actually pretty windy out there. It's looking more than just your typical Florida thunderstorm. And it's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger winds as the night goes on, but I'm feeling really safe inside the house and Thankful that the hurricane is not as strong as it was predicted to be, but we'll see how things go. And we're dry. Yeah, we're staying dry. And we're gonna continue watching our movie. If the power goes out, Janice has some uh, board games for us to play. There's a Disney Pictionary thing one, which will be fun. So we're just gonna keep chilling in here, riding out the storm. All right, hurricane tradition is to play board games. Even so. though we still have power. You don't have to wait till the power goes out. You get there is always a good time to play a Disney board game. This is Disney Pictionary, but we got to be careful. Oh, Pictopia, sorry. But yes, I do. We got to be careful because Janice has a knife. So don't even stab you. Beware. She's already making threats. <laughs> and the cheater's right here. So we got a knife here. Apparently, Janice's mom cheats. And I will threaten. And there's no pink piece, but I'm purple, which is close enough. I'm green. And the blue, of course. All right, here we go. Practice round, because Janice got the most complicated Disney game possible. Janice's mom and I made it to the. Yeah, we made it to the. End. Yeah, but now you gotta do. A group. If not, you're back here. We have to do a final challenge. Dun dun dun. The two yes, worst players. How do possible. we? <laughs> what are you talking about? I rock at this game. <laughs> All right. How does this All work? Right, so when your remover reaches the castle space, either by rolling the die and moving when it's your turn, or as a reward for place. answering correctly, you must perform the final challenge to win. Mm -hmm. 
What's the final challenge? All players who movers are I on the castle lose. space get to take the final challenge. Oh, that's us. So, mm -hmm. select a player whose mover is not on the castle to read the solo pick. So, out of me and Janice, who do you want us to read the Paul. question? Paul. Janice you. is bitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to answer here. You guys answer in yours, and you have to match my answer. Yeah, if you match good. my answer, you win the game. If you don't match your answer, you go back here, and then you got to come back around. Are you? Okay. So, which one of these characters would I most want to save me from a burning building? Oh, goodness. Yeah, you're sitting. Who, Jackie? I think I know. Puedo, puedo ponerlo aquí. Ah, pero. I don't even know. That's bad. I know. I know who I'd want. Not you, Paul. I know. All right, Paul, did you answer? choose? I have. All right, ready? No. Well, Set. Flip. Who would you choose? Hey, you chose a dog? I thought I did it. I I chose Buzz Lightyear too. I thought that's who I chose. Look at look at look at look at guys. Look at back. Oh my goodness. Did you do that on purpose? No. Okay. Chose a dog. Just saying. You know. He wants Orion to save him. Okay. Mostly you. Orion. That's who. That's what I would have chosen. All right. Let's keep playing. All righty. So Janice made it to the end now, and now. She has to answer a question correctly for me, oh. and if give me a she gets card. no, oh, all these people, no. all these people, and if she gets it wrong, she's got to go back here, which is what happened to me and her mom. So anyway, all right, match my answer, Janice. I have my answer in here. Which go. one of these characters would I most like to have dinner with? Oh, okay. I know my answer. Just saying. I've chosen. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know. I have to, it was a real toss-up. Alright, ready? Okay. Cool. One, two, three. Oh! oh that's the one I wanted to win! What do you mean B? I was thinking C or D because no. Paul sucks. Oh my god. Oh, you're right. No, I love <laughs> not Wait, why her? Because she's an amazing me. sister. She like the oh girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crump cooks and Ratatouille cooks too. Call back. Right. So Jackie is near winning. I, I made it here again, me. and I've got to answer. You're horrible. Hold on. Um. I made it in the castle again. I got to answer Janice's question to see if I can win this. All right, what's the question? Wait, what question do I have? Oh my goodness. Oh, swallow. Right. Which one of these characters would I most want to follow into battle? Okay. Oh, I gotta answer. Yeah, you gotta answer too. Mm. All right, I gotta answer. Ready? Yeah. Set, go. Ha! Oh, I won the game! Oh my god! I thought you were gonna do Meredith. The, I was just like, I'm like the least Meredith. competitive person it's ever, and she's the most competitive person ever. So it's I'm really, really surprised that I won. Ah! I almost chose Meredith. I thought you were gonna choose Meredith. Oh, I didn't Meredith. I chose Milan because mm -hmm. she's strong, independent, don't need no man, and you're like that too. So She marries in the end of the yeah, she but doesn't. She, she like saves China. Your concept is so <laughs> strange and everywhere. I would. Like, we should play again. This is fun. And she did it. She hated it in the beginning because too many rules. The, the instructions were like homework. Getting out the oil lamps because the street lights have started turning off outside. I am gonna start walking around like this in the house with the power off and just, you know, creepily. creep people out. Yep. Pretty much. Style. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the street lights are turning off outside. We're preparing for a possible power outage, getting the lamps out and the flashlights. And the street is flooded up to a foot of water. Like, the water is almost reaching the sidewalks and the tires of Paul's truck on the driveway and the backyard is flooding too. Makes me worried for my home in Tampa, but this is what happens in a hurricane and we just prepare as much as we can. Winds are pretty strong outside too. So it's about 9.30 p.m. We are hunkered down, just riding out the storm. Well, the hurricane, wait, it's still a category two, right? Right now? I think so, yeah. Okay, so. Category two at 105 mile an hour winds. All right which um, can still give some pretty substantial flooding, especially in a flood zone like where my house is, but it seems to have shifted path again. 
Yes, the hurricane is here. Yes, we've known about it. Yes, we've prepared for it, but hurricanes are still very unpredictable. So instead of going up the coast of the West Coast like we expected, it seems to be going north and coming more towards Orlando where we currently are right now. So like I said, we're just hunkering down and riding it out as best we can. I came upstairs to do my breathing treatment just in case we do lose power because a lot of Paul and Janice's family have already lost power in the area. So I wanted to get my breathing treatment done. If you watched my prepping for Hurricane When Chronically Ill video, I had a few concerns with power outages and not being able to plug in and use my nebulizer was one of them and a few other things. So just trying to do as much as I can while we have electricity. And we do have an evacuation plan should we need to leave because it isn't safe here anymore or because I really need electricity for like charging my feeding tube pump or my infusion bags need to be refrigerated or using my nebulizer like we're set but I think we're gonna be okay no matter what it is we end up having to do yep so the streets are definitely flooding especially over here it's under a foot of water over here but there are still some dry, visible parts of the road, and if we need to leave, we can still drive through this for sure, especially in Paul's truck. We are still not feeling the full strength of the hurricane, the full impact we're going to feel. That starts around midnight, so we're just waiting. That's about two hours away. Right, Harlow? You being good? She's being a great dog. Yep, so like I said, we're kind of just getting everything done while we still have power and water. Like, I'm gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and kind of like get ready for bed while well, we can still use power and water. I'm ready for bed, Hippo's ready for bed. I've got my feeding tube pump charging. I'm gonna hook up and turn it on for the night in just a moment. I am hooked up to my feeds 24 seven and if the power goes out and I can't charge my pump, it'll last about two days on a full charge, but like we've made plans if that happens and if like worst case scenario with my health, I end up going into anaphylaxis. We've made plans. We are proactive and ready to handle whatever may happen in the event of this disaster. Anyways, I am feeling quite a bit frazzled right now because I haven't heard from Judd. I've been getting quick text updates from him throughout the day and I haven't heard from him in about five hours. And since the hurricane is getting to its peak right now, I am not totally panicking yet because I'm sure he's just really busy with the guard helping. Um, but if I don't hear from him by tomorrow night, then I'll start feeling a little worried. But um, if anything happens to him as his wife, they will notify me. And the saying is, no news is good news. So <sighs> don't freak out, Jackie, it's fine. He's just doing what he was meant to do. So anyways, we are kind of in a lull period between bands of the hurricane. We were just hit with one, which is when the road flooded up. And since we're in the middle of one, we can start seeing parts of the road again, we couldn't before and we are not yet at full impact. We have another band of the hurricane coming at us. Like the full impact of the hurricane will be here, like I said, around midnight. So tonight is gonna be the roughest night and it's gonna go through to the morning. The hurricane has shifted and is coming back directly at us, which is good for some parts of Florida, bad for other parts of Florida. Like no matter what path it takes, people are going to sustain damage and it's, 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 it sucks, it's a hurricane, but once it's gone, we start rebuilding. There are a lot of power outages so far, a lot of flooding, storm surges are pretty severe, but we got this, Florida. We got this, everyone who's been impacted by this hurricane. We got this. So I'm kind of just rambling now, but I just wanted to say I am praying for all of us. Please stay safe, stay dry, and remember, if I don't upload a vlog or update y'all, it's most likely due to no power, not an emergency so please don't panic we're all doing our best to keep a level head that's also why i'm not really replying to comments if you follow me on my vlogs you'll know i like to reply to comments when i'm able to but right now i'm trying to stay focused in the moment and keeping a level head and i've got a lot of other things going on with this hurricane and judd being gone and whatnot so i'm just not in a good space to reply to comments hope you'll understand but we're all good and i appreciate the support y'all are sending it means so much to us, so thank you for that. Harlow says thank you, and we've got each other, we are prepared, we can do this. So with that, I will say good night, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.